I'm excited to uh, inform you that in lieu of an inaugural ball this year, uh, we are going to instead have an inaugural open house. And uh, every Vermonter is invited to join us in the State House uh, for this event. And we're going to donate uh, any proceeds of the inaugural open house to the uh, Vermont Disaster Relief Fund. Uh, this is where we are. We know that we need to raise $10 million uh, to make Vermonters whole, to get Vermonters not back to where they were, <coughs> but at least into housing, uh, into a more stable situation. Right now, we have raised $6.7 million of that $10 million goal. That's remarkable. Over half of that amount has been raised in the last three months alone. It's my commitment as governor to do everything I can to continue that momentum. So to all the generous donors that donated to the inaugural fund last year that we dedicated to the Vermont Family Fund that supports our, our, our veterans' families uh, who are serving Vermont when they are deployed overseas, this year we're asking them to give to the Vermont Disaster Relief Fund. There are two ways that one can do it. First is to write a check to the Vermont Disaster Relief Fund by going to vermontdisasterrelief.com. The other is to buy to buy an I am Vermont Strong license plate. I remind you that uh, we are trying to sell 50,000 of the plates. We're getting closer every day, but when we every 50,000 plates that we sell raises another million dollars towards our 10 million dollar goal, goal for the Vermont Disaster Relief Fund. So we're going to have a great open house. Uh, we are then going to. Uh, uh, dedicate any uh, proceeds to the Vermont Disaster Relief Fund, and we'll have license plate sellers on hand in the State House, just in case you want to get a license plate during the inaugural festivities. We know that two years ago, people were willing to pay a lot of money to see the governor dance. Uh, we think they'll pay a lot more to not see him dance. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the big things, it's the little things. And we had a woman who was evacuated from her home in Addison County, an elderly woman, during the flood, and she, uh, um, she lost her hearing aids. Um, and she could not prove to FEMA or to her insurance company that she lost them while being evacuated during the flood. So she came to the Vermont Disaster Relief Fund, and we helped provide her with new hearing aids. So it's not just all the big things, it's a lot of the little things that make the difference. We are the fund of the unmet needs. We're the fund of last resort. My entire, pretty much my entire trailer park was destroyed. I was just outside the Capitol in Weston's mobile home park. And I'll be honest, if it wasn't for the disaster relief fund, I would probably still be in my apartment and unclear of where or how I'm gonna buy a home. And so it's because of all the generosity of Vermonters that my dream was made possible and we moved back into our home veterans weekend so i'd like to thank everybody for their support and their continued support and encourage people let's please make that 10 million dollars and make those dreams happen